we'll see. There we go. It says we're online. Woo! I have streamer arm. You don't see that? <laughs> Look at that, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> are we live? Uh, I think so. I think we are live. That's the only thing that we need to do that we had the issue with yesterday was the audio. If they're good enough that. Oh wait, nope. You had to re you had to restart it yesterday no. though. Yeah, that's fine. I gotta take this off. <coughs> Get that away from the So let me do Streamlabs. Hold on. Down here. Desktop audio. We got mic. We don't need desktop audio. So we're good. We should be good. Back in Legoland. There you go. Can you hear me okay? Shana? Are we good? Laura's got to do her thing. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so this is my world here. This is all these. <laughs> you can just, yeah, you can just put them all. I was going to say, look at your book. Figure out where you're going to go. Make sure they can see your book. They can. All right, I've got all the stuff here. All the solar panels. We have solar panels, honey. We have solar panels for... We got solar panels for days. For years. Here, we'll do double layers of solar panels too because they're all the same. We don't have too much real estate for solar panels right now. Big pile of solar panels. Yeah, we got another huge pile of solar panels. All right. Those are all the same. <laughs> okay. Yep. Those are all the same. Yeah. And then these are here. Yeah, rods. That's it. Nope. Nope. That's not it. What? Oh. Would you look at that? Hold on, I need my other glasses. So I can see shit without like looking down my nose. Well, I was reading the course of possible war. I love Lego Land. Woo, look at this. Okay. Mom is going to have a heyday putting all these solar panels together. Blob is the opposite of stress reduction today. Can we tackle the world tomorrow? <laughs> hey, Laura. Laura. I wonder if Blob works for Men in Black. Hey, Laura, why don't you bring up a, another Twitch tab and put 30 Show on it? That way then when he gets close, we can just... Oh get, yeah, we could do that. We'll just do that. That's fun. Because he's he, this is where he's at right now. Yeah, that's fun. So we can go back and forth. We don't have to. We can share and then. Yeah, here let me Cooking do that. Cooking class four is going live. Oh my gosh, everybody's going live. We need to finish this. 
we need to finish this so we can like go hang out with people. <laughs> we are hanging out with people. We like watching people's streams too, though. <laughs> no, I'm just saying we. You know. FM. Hi, love. How's it going? It's been a while. <coughs> I was thinking about you the other day. You guys want some more space facts? How are things? Yeah. See, that'll work great. Yeah. There we go. So then you can just add a add a. Yeah, I've got my I've got my web browsing window. Let me make sure that. Let me just test this. Let me to see, see what's going to happen here. Yeah, let me let me bring up my screen. Hold on. <gasps> what? Jim. Jim. Tom, we have a gym raid. And look at what he's going to. <laughs> That's awesome. Yay, Jim! Woo! That's so awesome, guys. Thanks for the raid, Jim. Welcome yeah. on in. Thank you, guys. How y'all doing? This is awesome. Oh, thanks for the follows. Hold on, I can't even see. Wait. Ah, oh, Ken, J Janet, Janae, KC, Grizz. Thank you, Jim, for that raid. Yay, this is so great. Ah, oh, you guys are awesome. It's so fun to see like people I hang out with in Jim's stream in the stream. Is so cool. Damn, man. <laughs> oh, Mr. Weird. Yes. Oh, thank you for, for following. I appreciate that. And Beth. Yay. Thank you for the sub, Beth. That's so great. Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, this Biddy, is like Beth, thank so you so great. much for the subs. Dudes. Tori, thanks for the follow. Jim, how was your stream? What did you guys get up to? I saw you were on, and I have to say, I actually mentioned on my stream I was having a bit of FOMO. <clears throat> I saw Jesse on earlier and you on today, and I'm like, they don't normally do weekends. What's going on here? I'm having some FOMO. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Hold on. Let me catch up here. God, I'm so bad with chat. Ask anybody. They're like, oh, Lord, she's going to go back and chat and try to catch up. <laughs> I do. We are doing Legos. We so are. yesterday was Tom's birthday, and what he wanted to do was a Lego stream. So he has been meaning to. He has got these limited edition space box Legos. This one is from the 50th anniversary. Yep, NASA 50th. So, um... Yeah, we started it last night, and it was after midnight, and we still hadn't finished it. So today we worked on the bus for a while, and we just came inside and made the transition to Legos. And we so were, we're sweaty and hot, and we didn't even we yeah. didn't even take a break, man. We're here for you guys. I know. And so and we're then gonna Jim raided us. Yay! That's so great, you guys. It's it's like such a cool thing to see people I hang out with in Jim's stream here. And it's always a treat to see Jim, too. You guys, follow Jim. Like, we did... So, Jim, it's a really good time you came in today because this morning... I, you should have come in this morning. And I was thinking about you and Jesse. I'm like, they would like this. Um, but we did... Um, so we did our normal yoga for 30 minutes, and then we did a restorative yoga session, which was really nice. It turned out really nice, And yeah. then we did um, a 10-minute meditation session with, um, I use Peloton um, workouts and meditation things and all the stuff. So um, I used that, but it was really good, and I thought about you guys, because it was just really, it, it was, was really good. It was uh, um, meditation for patients. Yeah, today, today the, the, the thing was patience, and it was just really, really good. But anyway, I thought about you guys, and it was like that self-care just kind of thing that um, from watching Jim's streams, I've become a lot more aware of. So, yeah. Thank you, Jim, just for what you do. 
Thank you, Jim, for what you do for Laura. Yeah. It's helpful. It is helpful. Cheers. Cheers. Bloody Mary. Cheers. Bloody Mary Sunday. Cheers. Hey, come right here. Cheers to the crew. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Just a little heads up on the 30 show. He put the camera on. They uh, they took off from the start line and the camera went black. <gasps> So no. I don't know. Really? I don't know if he lost the camera off the back or what happened. It's possible that something came apart with the oh, vibration. No. But I hope oh, his shit. equipment's okay. Anyway, that's okay the update too. that I saw real briefly during the raid. So, hey raiders, welcome aboard. We are Tom and Laura, and we do uh, IRL adventure streaming. And right now we're it's a riveting adventure. We're building the International Space Station, and. Um, I am a pretty big space enthusiast and not great at streaming, so Lala usually leaves the stream and I'm just here for color. So So I'm just seeing, I'm going back. Jim, we watch church. Great crew for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Bitty Bad Look. She's she's doing the minion cheer. Yay! I'm so glad you got the minions going on. Sorry, I'm going back in time. Okay, so Tom's gonna he's just doing his thing as I'm looking at stuff. That's kind Thanks of you guys for coming in. Kind of how we roll. This is kind of this is really fun. So I love Legos. Um I am, and I'm not creative, and so this is one of those things that, um, Tom is actually very creative, but Legos, they give you all the directions and all the pieces so you can be creative without having to be creative, and for me, I just like organizing the little pieces, so that's how I help. That's how I help. Got to see a couple of clients. Awesome. Thanks again, Jim. I appreciate the raid. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, Spiritual Sunday. I love it. Yeah, Tom might actually leave my stream and come see yours if you do those more often. Oh, man, for sure. That's really great. You're a beautiful color. Hold on, I'm looking. It was an insightful, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. It's hard to put everybody's comments, like, because they all came in so fast, so sorry. I get all flustered when I'm raided. I gotta get over that. Mr. Weird is saying somebody is a beautiful color. Is he talking about me? <laughs> Tom, you are more passionate about space or Legos? The real Mr. Weird wants to know if you're more passionate about space or Legos. Um, I think probably space. I've seen quite a few launches um, in the past four or five years. Um, I've seen a lot of launches. Oh, Tom so. said he's here for color. Oh, yeah. 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 I am very passionate about space. Um, I do like Legos, but I probably wouldn't play with Legos. Uh, I probably wouldn't. I don't know. We, you I know might what? play with Legos, but I probably wouldn't. Our whole family's always. We've been Lego a Lego family. Yeah. But I'm, our son loves Legos. And I was the one who would pick them out. <laughs> And yeah. then, then yeah, we were talking yesterday about how I would I would do this. I would organize the pieces, and then micromanage them putting the Legos together because it was really I wanted to play with the Legos. And anyway, so now I feel free to buy myself Lego sets if I feel like I want some. But I also love Playmobil. Do you guys like Playmobil? Playmobil is really fun, and it's so cool. that, there's a, there's one of the solar panels that we. Oh, what excites you about space? Mr. Weird wants to know. Here we go. What excites me about space? You know, the deep ocean and space are kind of the same for me. I have a fear of the ocean, but I would go into space. 
Um, but I have a fear of the ocean. There's something about being underwater and yeah. Um, space is so vast and, and we've only explored, if you were to look at all the atoms in the world, we've, we've explored one atom of the entire world um, when it comes to the universe. Yeah. It is so vast and so huge, it's never ending. And so that is just amazing to me that there's something that we can't even comprehend. Well, and so, so Tom also hasn't told you, but he used to work on the space program. He won't shout himself out, so I that's my job. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, now he actually worked for, he's a government contractor and worked on the space shuttle program. So, um, so yeah, and actually did some of the, um, the equipment that the shuttle uh, launch at the shuttle launch facility. So we lived down in Melbourne, Florida for a long time. So we're familiar with launches and yeah, I do. I follow um, Dr. WD-40 yeah. um, and we've got a place down on the space coast as well. Um, we'll our little, we'll our little mobile homes. Yeah. that we rent right now but that one of them will end up being where we kind of land we'll have we've got a boat and a bus that we're going to adventure on um but we also have um my mom lives down in this little like 55 and older park down in melbourne florida <laughs> and um and we've got um a couple places there that we rent out to people and eventually one of them will will end up being ours so yeah um but yeah, when we're down there, we we attend launches and and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah. But Tom used to literally attend the launch. He would be in the launch, shuttle launch facility when when the shuttle. Yeah, it was, was on, yeah, it was so. a shuttle Atlas Delta. It was a whole yeah. whole launch. Yeah, and the and the rocket. Yeah, we did rockets too. And yeah. So. So, um, so yeah. So his his space passion, I think, also comes from the fact that he has a behind the scenes knowledge yeah. of the space program itself. So. I did that for 11 years. I did four years in the military in the space program, and then I did seven more years, and then I changed changed careers. Mm -hmm. um, but still have never lost a passion for that. Um, yep. So, yeah. Yes, I like space. Yeah, the space program is so cool. Yeah, yeah. I like space. Um, you know, explore, I, the, I get, I get to experience things. archetype nice. Did I gather you are also spiritual or religious in some way? Mr. Weird. Yes. He's curious. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual for sure. Yep. Religious. Yeah. I like, I like, I like the, um, I like religion and I am, yeah, I'm open to a lot of things. I would say I'm more, very, accept very accepting. I'm more spiritual than religious. And that, that actually comes from, um, I'll be honest, I'll, it, the judgment that I received um, from the, um, specifically the Catholic community, um, and I won't go into the specific situations, but um, they were very mean. So I just was like, I know that this isn't, um, yep. can you, and then can you this isn't what it's about. Can so. you replicate that six more times? So Can I replicate this six more six, times? Six, twelve of those. Just okay. Like is this well? Can I see the pieces? Yeah, it's right. Or is it just these? It's just those. You're gonna, you're gonna make those. Okay. Just it's one of these on the end, and then four of these, and it's um. Hang on, it, it needs to be just well, two. See, I'm, you're not even giving me the benefit of the yeah right there two of the there. instructions. Yeah, two there. Here you go. Right there. Look. So it's one on the end, and then it's four of these. Oh, those. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there should be two. Should be four orange at the end. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'll build these other pieces. So, yeah. But I am actually very spiritual. I feel like we're all connected. Um, I'm just not quite sure that um, our religious leaders. Everybody thinks they're right, and the fact is they don't know anything. Personally, they don't know anything. Because anybody that knows what's going to happen next didn't come back to tell us about it. So, I have a little faith in a lot of things. 
<laughs> so maybe that's just one of those one of those things about me. I don't like the judginess of religion. That's just my deal. And I know not all religions are like that, and I know not all churches are like that. But I have just found that for me, um, working it out in my own head by myself, my spirituality has worked for me. Mr. Weir says thanks for your vulnerability, Tom. Yep. You're welcome. Wisdom. All the gold in the world cannot buy a dying man one more breath. So what does that make today worth? Wow. Wow. Yep, it only takes the faith of a mustard seed. I agree, Janae. Yep. Working on dinner and chatting with the littles. Awesome. Thanks, T. Thanks, T. So, yeah. So, what's everybody else up to? How's everybody doing? What did you all do this weekend? Besides go to church with Jim today. That's so cool that Jim does that. I know. Cool. I did not know he did that. Go try that one time. Well, Jim's awesome. And Jim's in Nashville. We talked about, we need to... We need to get together and do a collab stream of some kind. We need to invite him to the boat. We just need to get together. <gasps> he could do church on the boat. <laughs> okay, I have replicated one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'll do all those pieces. All these need to go on here? Yeah, and there'll be extra pieces that'll go on the other side, but we can't do that yet. Okay. Oh, it would take forever doing it alone, but that's okay. I'm just doing a I'm building eight completes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And sixteen of them in. Yep, and this this will be the first Lego build that Tom's done in a while. I'm really glad we pulled him out of the closet. Yeah. Well, we may, maybe, may, they may be a, end up being a, a prize for somebody. Yep. Well, because we're, we're going to be moving out of this house, and um, at the end of the somewhere around the end of the year, maybe first, first, definitely about the first quarter. Definitely, of the year. yeah, definitely, probably by January, we'll be moving out of the house and onto the boat. So, everything in this house needs to go. Everything. So we won't have room for Legos. Legos. <laughs> Although we did say maybe we could build a shelf at one of the houses down oh, no, in Florida, no, we could, the rentals. We could put them in Florida. And, and just put them on, you know, because that's Space Coast. There aren't, there aren't kids there. Yeah. No, it's just, it's just older people that, rental, that rent stuff there. So. Yeah, seriously, right, Shingna? Wouldn't that be fun? Having a space. Oh, Mr. Weird. Okay, that would be fun. I want to give you a tarot reading. I will tell you what's coming. That would be great. Who's doing a tarot reading? Mr. Weird does tarot reading really? online. Yes. How do you do that? That stuff freaks me out. So I'll go for. I'll do it. He, it does. It, it does freak him that out. Stuff freaks the freaks. But we've got. Um, my daughter loves it. She's she's tried to do tarot um, herself yeah. for people. And Tom is like, no, no, no. But. I'm like, so if you can why do a, not? If like, you, again, I'm the spirituality of it. If you can do a tarot reading with a deck that's just positive, that would be great. <laughs> Tom doesn't want any bad news. <laughs> oh. All right. I did laundry. Does modding count? What's that? Count for what, Shana? Sorry, I missed it. Bob heads back to his quarters. Finished a copper tooling. Took pictures at the park. Then the usual. Nice. Who did that? Janae. Did, Kevin Janae. Did copper tooling? Mm-hmm. What is that? 
That's finished so, a finished a copper tooling. That's, took pictures of the part than the usual. That sounds amazing. Yes, modding counts, Shayna. At least for me, because <laughs> I appreciate it, and it is work. People can believe what they want to, so long as they don't try to talk me over to believing their customs. So I'm okay with it. Yeah, exactly, Clap. Yeah, I think everybody, you know, and everybody's perceptions are based on what they've been exposed to. And I do, I and I don't mind listening to people. I really don't. Because I like to know what, you know, I like to learn from other people. But, um, and I take that in and apply it to what I know in my own way. And that's what I like to feel free to do, is to process and, you know, make that part of my own belief system in my own way and not to have somebody trying to mold necessarily my belief system so but i do believe that a lot of religions have a lot of good things to share and great insights so i'm always open to listening i think there's a lot to learn i have a co-worker he will do tarot on break i freaked out <laughs> you asked what the hell we all did today. Yes. Picture in Jim's art channel. Okay. Oh, cool. My gods is Norse. <laughs> Clab's blobs are Norse and blob. <laughs> oh, it's funny. No, it does count, Shayna. And look what I did today. I hung out with you guys. It counts for me. All and right. I loved it. All right, let me show you what we're doing. Oh, you got one left. That just speeded everything up so much, Lala. I wish I could have this many solar panels on the bus. I know, really, right? Wow. There you go. Okay, you want to... Now we're putting, now we're assembling them. This is like Lego ASMR. This is amazing. You all hear the, all the snapping going on? So watch this. <laughs> so here we go. You guys can see this. So we're going to do, we're going to put one there. One there. Let me flip it over. Also grocery shopping for two weeks. That's actually a really big deal. I know the grocery shopping is a big deal. And Shayna did some really good stuff today with the grocery shopping. She like made some good choices. So some healthier choices this week. It's good. The Norse gods Odin, Fre Freya, Thor, Loki, Balder, Freyr, Frigg, Tyre, Heimdall, Hel, Njorjor, I don't know how to say that. Is that, clap. Is that clap? Yeah. Bragi, Vidar, I, it, see there's letters I don't even know what they, how they sound. Something, Ion, Hor, Sif, Olur, Forstetis, Diggin, Vali, Icer, Ron, Nasir, <laughs> Buri. <laughs> there you go. That's my attempt, Clab. <laughs> all right, look at that. To honor all the Norse gods. Look at that. Look at all those solar panels. They're probably going to strike me down for how I said those names, but it's all right. All right, here we go. Time to assemble. <laughs> Time to assemble. Uh. Well, look at that. There you go. It's all coming together.
So what was the deal with the orange underneath? Huh? Just for kind of effect, or maybe the stuff's really orange underneath. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. We are. <laughs> Darn. We are. I come back to La Lodge talking like she's trying to summon a demon. <laughs> we are. We are. Uh, we are finished. That's done? We are finished. <gasps> Guys! There you go. That's the International Space Station. Hold on. Oops. Pull it this way a little bit. There we go. Can we get a shot? There you go. And look, we've even got the, look, the space shuttle. I'm going to rotate it just like you would see a 3D animation. Okay. And the shuttle comes and lands over here. Where? Lands over here. Comes. Is there a docking space Whoosh. that you can... And then it connects right here. Will it hang there? No. No? Why? Why does it not have a docking thing? There you go. Maybe upside down. Yay. I think we're docking the ship. Oh no, I, I got candles in the holy water. <laughs> oh no, it broke away. Oh, I tried to pronounce the Norse gods, Darren. Where's, oh, where are the astronauts? Oh, they're down here, they're floating in space. And what, wait, we have extra pieces. What the hell's this? No, these are just satellites. These are just satellites. These, these, these hang. We what gotta, is this? We gotta hang them by strings. That fell off, that fell, oh, that's a, that's a capsule. That's the capsule that's on the front when it ejects off. What? That's the emergency capsule, or just a capsule. Are you making shit up? No, it's just a. All right, here. Here's the, here's <clears throat> the little guys. Here, we'll put, they're doing a spacewalk. They're out here doing a spacewalk. A spacewalk. There we go. We'll just put them up top. Then, there we you have go. Two, then we have two satellites over here just floating out in outer space. Now, what we'll do is we'll lift this off here carefully. <laughs> we'll lift this off. Why are you calling T for help? Help. That is a work of art, though, honey. It really is. It's pretty it's, amazing. It's got so many different things on there. Look at and all those little. A bunch of stuff moves. There's six. This is a six bedroom. <laughs> six bedroom. 356 foot long. Totally off the grid. Solar panels auto adjust. They follow the sun. Uh, we ha we have we have some of the fastest and there's there's the astronaut guys right there guys there's the astronaut right guys there, right there. See look, look 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 we're gonna come see you we're gonna come see you we're gonna come see you they're there hello everybody oh my hi. lord hi hi <laughs> docking docking and docking and i don't know what that word is clab i'm afraid to say it Docking and something, that. really, Tom? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's, let's see if we can get there you back on. Let's see if we can get you back on. So do we need to, like, we need to put this in a box or something? No, it's just going to go back in Ziplocs in the box right there. No, you can't really. I think we should put it, like, in a tote or something, and we can take it to Florida and put it on a shelf down there. Although, can you imagine dusting that thing? It's going to be fun. You just put it out in the rain. Yeah. Just put it in the bathtub, wash it off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This you is did amazing. it. Amazing. Did it make you happy? Yes, it makes me very happy because I can play and I can hang oh, out. Oh, it's a word for release? Yeah. We did it, guys. We did need it. to make a, a perspex. Kate's for it. Per, pers, perspex. I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? A no. perspex case? No. <coughs> Shana, I'm the man in the box. 
Uh, it's all good. So we were talking <coughs> about, because it was Tom's birthday, and he turned 56, but you know what? My experience is, and I actually still give toys for people's birthdays sometimes, or I give my kids money and tell them to go buy toys. Literally, go buy toys. Even as a grown-up, buying toys is a good thing. And Legos is great. Playmobil is another thing I love. And I have bought Playmobil for myself before. Not too long ago. So, adults can buy toys. If you find toys that make you happy, buy toys. Just saying. Are they talking anywhere about what happened with the... Um... Oh, Tom was saying jack-off things? What? Ejaculation? Excuse what? me? Like plastic display cases. Oh, darn. said like a plastic display case. Like a shadow box. Oh, acrylic. Oh, I missed it. I don't think he meant to. Did I say something? I don't know. Hmm. I guess you did. Sorry. That would just normally not be in my vocabulary, that word. That's not one of my... Did you say ejection or... Ejection. Oh, ejection. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah, so they were, they were, it was Shana was thinking that it was something more. <laughs> Shana. Shana, I get excited with space and sometimes I do, sometimes I do have to. You can call it that if you want, but I try to sneak under and be nicer. Tide said looks good. Yeah, it turned out well. There you go. All right. Well, that's it. That's it. That was the. So do you guys know that it, you guys know it's you guys know it's 356 feet long and there's uh, six sleeping quarters, uh, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and it's. When did we say it was put up in the put up 19? I missed some of the history yesterday. It's been up a long time. Um, I got a tour. I got a tour of the huh? facility that <laughs> got to walk through some of the modules. Nineteen ninety eight. Yep. I got to walk through some of the modules. Um, <clears throat> I had already left uh, my ninety eight. I had already left. We were already in oh. in Nashville in ninety eight. But <laughs> in the mid in the early nineties, mid nineties, I got to walk through the facility. I had to go work on some equipment. The guy gave me a tour. And I actually got into the facility where the modules were being staged to go into space. Oh, that's and crazy. I, I didn't I just took it all for granted. Yeah. I mean No, it really is amazing. I worked in a I worked in a building that had forty foot um, LED projectors before LED projectors existed. Mm hmm So it was pretty cool. Yep. And that's oh, what Tom got to see a lot of things. Um Yeah. You know. They won't let me take pictures or stream from there, though. No. No. All right. Uh, that's awesome. Cool. Well, is that a wrap? What are we doing? I think we're going to go eat. We want to raid out? Yeah, but we're not going to be able to raid, raid 30 show because it looks like he's going to be right back. Uh, he's been on be right back for a while. I think his, I hope his um, solar. All right, yeah. I hope his stuff didn't get... It looked like if you could see the replay, it was going great. The car took off, and then all of a sudden the screen went blue. And I'm guessing that it's possible that his equipment is on the drag strip. I hope not. Yeah. Oh uh, well, thanks you guys um, for being is, is, here. Is cooking class four on? Did he did he um, go live? He said he was going live. I saw I got an alert. Yep, there he is. Oh, let's see. Awesome. There you go. Hey, we've got cooking class four. Yep, cooking class four is live, and he comes to our stream. And he's all making the time. he's making salsa. And he is actually just getting going. I think um, salsa verde chicken. Yeah. And chorizos. And so Hammer is an amazing chef and um, he is basically cooking on a budget um, and he does like real people food on a real people budget. Um, 
and he will answer any question you have about how things are cooked. He is an amazing teacher. This is what I really, really love about, about him. He goes by Hammer um, as a name, but Cooking Class 4 is his channel. So um, I think we're going to raid over there because, you know what, and, and his, his significant other, his partner, Puck Bunny, and their little man, their little chef, Tucker, are the cutest things in the world. So um, all set to raid. Oh, okay. Hey, I just want to thank everybody. Thank you, everybody, all for spending two days with us. Uh, thank you for making my birthday special by um, by just hanging out with us. Uh, I really enjoyed the Lego stream last night and the cooking the cooking the soup and all the <laughs> stuff and building the bus stuff. So thank you. Appreciate. Yeah. Appreciate you. Now it's been a good weekend. It yeah. has, yep. and um, yeah, spending it with you all is is great. Um, hanging out, you know, the marbles, the staying up late, the doing. I felt like honestly, I felt like I was was doing kid things, staying up late and doing all the stuff. Um, and also, you all support us in, in taking steps toward um, what we want to do. So I appreciate y'all being around. And, yep. um, you know, wait, let me, I want to, um, I definitely want to thank Jim, the mental health coach, for the raid today. Um, and <clears throat> thanks for all the amazing follows. Um, Bayou Pops for the sub. Uh, Biddy Beth for the sub. Thank you so much. It's so great to have you on board. Um, and last night, I will say Mad5820 gifted some subs as well. Gifted, and, um, gifted five or ten subs I know. Night. That was just a crazy thing. So it's been really cool this weekend. Um, you know, we're just small, and, you know, we hope to grow the community, but I'm great with it growing organically with amazing people like you. So um, thanks you all for being here. Uh, do me a favor and, um, you know, be kind to yourselves this week. Take care of yourselves. Um, we had some amazing, I think we started off today in just a great mindset, um, practice seconds. patience and, uh, just carpe diem, seize the day. Seize the day, everybody. everybody Have a great counts. week. Have a great week. Let's go. Love you guys. Let's go. Are we going? We're going. <laughs>